welcome you mangy mutts to the dogs of war. All right. Welcome again, everybody. Uh, today we're going to be painting Ulrich the Slayer. I'm probably just going to paint um, in this video maybe just a little bit of the uh, the white on him and get some of the fur there painted uh, and some of the skulls painted. Uh, what I like to do and what I found is that um, painting it, painting it um, a brighter white and using some of the contrast paints, maybe the skeleton horde, seems to work out real well. Um, let's see, I've got the black here. I think we're going to go with uh, Ceramite White. Uh, I transferred this uh, Citadel to a bottle there. And let's get some of it on the palette and see if we can't get some on him. So it looks like his armor is black, where you notice I've based it uh, blue like I do most of my Space Wolves. And I hadn't really decided for certain if I'm going to um, if I'm going to do in black or if I'm going to keep it a blue um, there I don't I don't know we'll see in probably the um, maybe the next video I had the black there but yeah I don't know Get something to listen to. All right, let's see what we have here. So I'm not so much worried about being too um, too careful at this point, especially with white. Um, whatever you put over it is gonna. It's going to cover it up. So, it's not so much of a problem there. Um, I'm to thin it down a little bit so it'll get in the crevices. It's about time to change my paintbrush and use this one for less detailed work. Like it has seen better days. I'm going to go over the helm here. And I think if it doesn't cover it solid, a solid layer of white, it may not be so bad. Um, I think the contrast paint seems to make it into the crevices pretty good and um, it'll make that uh, It'll just tint that white a little bit, um, where it's not just super, super bright. Got a... Looking at the image from Games Workshop site uh, as a reference, just it's 
it's good to have reference images um, something to go by give you an idea of what you find one or two that you like and you give you an idea of what um, where to start and then well just add a little bit of your own flavor to it So with this only being the second video, obviously I'm getting used to, um, well, used to YouTube, used to streaming, and hoping that I'll get better. I'm not only better at painting, but uh, also... Uh, better at providing yeah, content that's worth watching. Um, I like the idea, I guess, to relay that it's okay not to paint the absolute best in the world you have to start somewhere that you have to pick up some plastic and put some paint on it in whatever manner that you're able to and you're gonna make mistakes you're gonna mess up and you're going to think it looks terrible. But what you don't realize is the things that you learn by making those mistakes, they're, they're really important. Um, I guess in life as well. Um, the mistakes you make in painting... You may find 30 ways not to paint fur. And believe me, I have. But if you find that one that works for you, or a portion of those mistakes, you can take it and say, well, wait a second, that part worked. Whenever I thin down a shade a little bit, that it didn't get too dark and maybe I put a little bit of one shade on the top part of the fur and another shade on the middle part of the fur and make a transition and do it while it's all wet before it all dries don't do it and let it dry so you actually have some transitioning transitions that happen and thing you know you have something that you can be proud of so do notice that I'm not really I'm not being so so careful in my painting um, like I said before the this white, if it gets somewhere else, then it's, it's easy to cover up. And the contrast paint is going to show up real well on that. And you'll notice whenever I get around to this, that's why I'm here, orange, a little paintbrush.
You'll notice here in just a second that I am going to paint his face white. I learned um, when the contrast paint came out that um, the Fire Slayer um, contrast paint and the Gilliman, um, oh, what? Uh, Gilliman flesh. That those. That's how I wanted my uh, my skin tone to look. And still, I'm not good at layering skin tone. It's not. I have a, a, a lot of things that aren't strong points, and that just happens to be one of them as well. Um, but I found that... Using those contrast paints over this white, sometimes in more than one coat, gave me the, the look that I wanted on my Space Wolf heads. And you can, I'm sure, do that if you don't have contrast paint. You can mix up um, certain washes and all that would probably do the same thing. Uh, the, I think the the amount of pigment in the contrast paint, I think, I guess it helps with the. Um, Whatever carrier that they have that uh, allows it to run off the, the run down into the crevices like washes do. Um, but I did make a wash. Got um, a little bottle here. You know, of uh, pledge. Uh, polish and I mixed that with a drop of paint or so and it um, it did real well for um, just to make a wash now it is glossy um, if you use the, the furniture polish like that but um, I mean you can go over it with a matte uh, a matte medium after it dries and, and take away that uh, gloss if you need to. Back there on the back. There. One thing I do also is um, So I wear a magnifying glass type uh, headset. Well, sometimes magnifier glasses and my thought process is that if I can magnify and paint, then whenever it makes it to the table, and people are looking at it unmagnified then if i can fix most of the things while it's magnified then they're gonna not gonna see all of the mistakes that i've made um whenever i zoom in and take pictures i've noticed that uh, i can see all the mistakes um that i've made and um you know looking at it with the you know, just bare eyes then you don't see as much of those, which is nice. Happy about that. But it seems to work for me. So wearing a headset is just 
escape. It's part of uh, what I adorn whenever I start painting. There again, some of the it not being just a solid layer of white is not the end of the world. It won't be so bad. Of this background music, I feel like I'm about to be attacked. So I guess everyone, well, including myself, should be uh, ready for the Indominus box set. I'm guessing I'll probably have an unboxing whenever I get mine in. I know there's going to be a lot of unboxings that'll happen, I'm sure, that already have happened. But I think I want to do it as well. Kind of like painting, painting these dogs. A lot of people that are painting and can paint way better than I can. There's not a whole, whole lot of people that are painting Space Wolves. Or that are taking the new Primaris and painting them as Space Wolves on YouTube. Now, we'll be painting other models. And I've got quite a few armies. There is quite a bit of large group of Necrons behind me now. There are Death Guard on my table. Let's get it back in frame here. Um, I have Sigmar models that I'm working on or that I need to be working on. I bounce back and forth. Side there. I've got Ogors. Sigmar. Or paintbrush. Keep paintbrush so I don't feel so bad about abusing it. Throw it against the wall. Okay. So we have some white frame. So short video. Um, I say a short video. I talk a lot, but I'm gonna gonna try to keep them short. Um, we'll do this one as part one, um, and. In part two, I'll go through and we'll put some black on the armor. Yeah, I think it's going to be black because I like the uh, I like the look um, of the one online there. Tell you what, um, why don't we use a little bit of the skeleton horde? Let's just see. See what we can do with uh, the 
some of those skulls. Give you an idea. All right, so skeleton horde. Here we go. You ready? Oh, let's go over this guy right. This one on the back. That's just, it's really satisfying. The skeleton horde contrast paint, or a lot of the contrast paints, you know, for the, you know, they're, they're they're good for uh, certain things. I don't think they're good for you know, the intended purpose to get some paint on your figures. Uh, maybe so, but um, I, I like to use them sparingly. I don't. I don't want to paint a whole whole figure with nothing but contrast paint. Okay, so I feel better that there is some color. Some color on him. Needed something. Um something there. And I guess for this one, why don't we, um, let me move this white so I can show you the, or you know what the contrast. So that was a skeleton horde that I put on him. And we're going to move to a Gilman Flesh now. Let's see. And for a second. Get this Gilman Flesh open. Let you see. Yeah, I'll have a better zoom soon, but Get that over there. Let's see what it is. Gilliman flesh. Some. All right, take a look. You ready? If you blinked, you probably just missed it. How quick that was.
A little bit. Four. may want it a little darker but we'll leave that for now add a little uh, a little something on his on the fur there oh what color do we want to go there I think I have a See what the dark oak front flesh does. Okay, if that's a reddish, I think that will work. I'm trying. Or I think if I get it on just the center pieces and leave the outside um, frame. Okay. See if I can get it here. I need more than one coat on that one, but we'll see. Um, out a little bit there did it if we can't get some up here then and just somewhere to start get us a you can go a little darker after this So in layering your paints, um, if you notice, so I did a white, I'm going over that white now with a, a lighter brown, reddish brown color and getting close to the tips. Uh, there. Yes, maybe I'm being a little more careful now. Um, but with the contrast paint, you don't have to be super careful. Um, it's going to kind of run where it wants to run. Kind of just hold on for the ride. Try to guide it as best you can. There we go. Okay. So we got some paint on him. And try not to keep the video so long this time. Why don't we stop here? For today and we'll pick back up on the 
on the next video. Um, just to let you, in case you missed what a color I was doing on the fur there. That is um, dark oak flesh is what I was using. And it seems to be okay, I think. I think it'll work. And I think next time we'll go through, um, we'll probably put a little bit of black on him and uh, do the, uh, the cloak there. And I'll consider a darker brown um, for the fur and put another layer um, over the fur there. Uh, if you notice also, so there's some uh, runes uh, here that are just covered up. Um, I can go back over those and with a gray and um, I'll pick those out later. Like I said just determining by uh, getting the base done. Anyways, so thanks for staying with me uh, for this time. Um, and Ulrich will give him some more paint um, there next time. Thanks a lot.